Hi, what are your names? Hi, I'm Lily Gonzalez. And I'm Kate DeYoung. And I'm Levin Chen. And, uh, and you guys are locals, right? Yes, I'm in PQ. Okay. Yeah, and I'm in Bankers Hill, just okay. right up here. And we're having a little sign um, display back here. Um, <laughs> And uh, so we, we ran into each other that we're out here at the Dia de los Muertos celebration in Old Town, San Diego. And we're like, oh, Pete supporters. And I'm like, are you guys grassroots? And, and yes, we were saying, and the same thing with the people that travel to Iowa. Everybody went on their own dime and on their own will. Everybody just wanted to join up. So the fun thing about, um, so we're, we're in a group, Pete for San Diego. Okay, you were in um, Iowa. And I was in Iowa too, yeah, yeah. Five of us from Pete from San Diego went out there. Yeah, five. Um, and, and did you go to the Andrew Yang rally? I didn't go to the Andrew Yang rally, rally although I hear Weezer was there. Yeah. Um, but we were busy at the rally with Pete, and we had Ben Harper, so, you know. Photo with Pete. And so, I wanted to go, but I got appendicitis, so I had surgery and I couldn't fly for two weeks. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's why I didn't go. So, so we need one or two. Uh, Hey, uh, we need one one Yang buck up floating, because, anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, we get equal, so we can share the airspace. <laughs> share equal airspace. sign pass right. passing by. No, Absolutely. but this this is good to see, because um, there was a tweet yeah. um, from the we Yang Yang Palooza, and people are like, oh, these are paid Pete supporters. No. And that's not true. They were... So let me kind of fill you in. Um, right now, the paid people are in Iowa. The campaign, like they're working on the campaign. They're in Iowa. They're in New Hampshire. It's wherever Pete has opened offices. Um, I know we do have a California um, campaign manager that was like one of the, there's like three hired people in California. And they've been training people at the grassroots level so that we could come back to our communities. So like, San Diego for Pete is all grassroots, and then that Barnstormers thing that you're talking about. Um, I don't remember where the organizers were from, but Pete didn't, the campaign didn't even know that we were bringing that many people. It was so. about 2,400, because I think well, there were also reports. You went 2,400 to, well, to where? 1,000 plus from all 50 states to go to Iowa, and then there was another 1,300 from Iowa that joined us. So. But awesome. not all of them are Wait, where either. though? You guys all all those people went to the not not Yangapalooza though. That was only well, five or six. Yangapalooza, Yang, did I say right? Yangapalooza uh, was a pre-event, just like Pete had a pre-event with the Ben Harper and a little speech. And then we all, everybody from all of the different campaigns, marched over to the Liberty and Justice Celebration Dinner. And then that was that. I don't. Maybe you've seen some videos like the 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 inside the. I haven't caught up. Oh, well, yeah. So anyway, all like there were um, 12 or 14 people who gave speeches, candidates who gave speeches to the Iowan Democratic Party. It was really exciting. Like, so every candidate had their constituents there. Yes. And yes. You, how big was yours compared to everybody else? Well, I'm at a, I will brag a little bit. We probably took up 20 percent, maybe 25 percent, probably more like 20 percent of the arena. Um, Elizabeth Warren probably had, I'm guessing here, probably had the next biggest amount, and she probably had 15 to 20 percent there, and then from there, consecutively smaller. Your guys is Yang, the Yang Gang section. Yeah. These awesome, like, Y shaped, yeah, I saw light, it. brighty things. Those were cool, yes. Yeah. I, I have been to a Warren rally, and she got massive numbers of people, and every constituency has a different vibe. Yes. And I would say Warren's was, they're very cordial, like very, yeah, yeah, yeah. their demeanor is very calm and like, oh, I'm just here to um, see what this is all about. Yes. And and there's, but so I'm surprised that, because as far as I've seen out there, Yang Gang is a lot of fun. Yes. And I think Pete Gang, what do you guys, call, what do you call yourselves? Pete, uh, Pete? I don't know, just repeat. <laughs> Sorry. Repeat. Sometimes repeat it's, and repeat. Sometimes that's, that's, they what, that's the name we try to put on you, but do you guys uh, counter make fun of that? Just Pete. No, Pete. We're Pete, Pete for yeah. America. For Pete. Pete for San Diego. San Diego. Yeah, I can see, like, yeah. now that I've seen you guys, like, Pete's crowd seems to be fun and yeah. peppy also. Energetic. Uh, it's a good um, cross section of the different generations. Yeah. Excuse me there. Um, yeah, so, but yeah, I, think Yang Gang. I feel like Yang Gang maybe is a little bit younger, although I have a couple friends on Facebook and 
you just know by saying Facebook that it's probably an older crowd, right? <laughs> Everybody's on Twitter, on Twitter, right? Twitter. I'm learning all that stuff. Yeah. But yeah, that, I think I'll... Youngang's Twitter. We're well about Twitter. Some Facebook. Some and Facebook. Also, yeah. even some of the people that were there locally, only a few are paid. Like, my son is actually working yeah. for the campaign, but then In everybody... Iowa. Yes, but that yeah. is also a smaller number. Everybody else is a volunteer. That's dope. So, like, in a moment, I want to ask you about you guys about, like, what inspires you about Pete? But first, I wanted to say, like, in terms of um, the feeling, I've, I've experienced now Bernie supporters, you guys, uh, Elizabeth Warren, mm -hmm. and then Yang Gang. And I feel like Yang Gang's rallies, like, feel like concerts, like rock concerts. And, and people are like, it's kind of like a little music festival. People are super creative. Cool. Yeah. They make their own signs, like the wide. People come up with cool yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, and then Pete's got the young, fun, and also a range mm -hmm. right but it also has a more light-hearted like fun feel to it yeah uh, and bernie supporters have a lot of like anger i mean I don't, i'm generalizing but this is me okay like but there's a lot of anger and resentment and it's hard because we it want to be generalizing i think we really want to be like welcome everybody and be inclusive and i think we're all in this together so yeah. pete has rules for the road and anybody who wants to be part of the even if it's just grassroots campaigning the first thing that we want people to understand that if you want to help get out the word about Pete, then you got to follow these 10 rules of the road and it's respect and it's teamwork and it's joy and it's, uh, I can't remember, uh, like um, discipline, there's like, there's, and, and you kind of have to say, yeah, I'm going to do that. So like, I feel like, um, I'll, a lot of Pete's campaign is on the social media platforms, but and then there's a lot of the in-person, but really what we want to do is connect with our friends and family, whether it's online, offline, sitting in a coffee shop, whatever it is, and then get those people to connect. Just like, I mean, what is grassroots organizing? Um, I think that there's a tendency to feel like you can be a little bit more aggressive when you're online because you're not looking somebody face to face. And I feel like that's maybe what happened with that kind of, the, there's that rivalry that happens. Yeah, yeah, that one, yeah, that one one. Yeah, and and I get it, but I think it's not right. You got right, right. I, I did comment on that tweet. I'm like, are you sure? Yeah, because you, know, yeah. Like, yeah, cause you, you and want. And I think maybe some people thought there would, he does have paid campaign staff there. He does. He definitely does. But he, it's a very got, small No, no. Number. In Iowa, it's huge. Oh, really? He's okay. got the second paid? biggest ground game paid in okay. Iowa. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but, so I think yeah. I think it was it wasn't um, to be malicious. Yeah. Like because there was like it was an a honest handful, mistake, yeah, and we're willing. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's the whole thing. I think when you say we're, we're also them. like independent free agents, yeah. and right, so people right, are like, yeah. ah, and then like we we check each other. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's great. And like on the rules of the road, like we were saying also, I think a lot of us just naturally identify with that and that's what we want because we're just, we want to have more, let's do this together. So what is your, what inspires you about Pete the most? Okay, so here's my thought on that. Uh, so I grew up in Michigan, 25 years there, 25 years on the liberal left coast. So, and I'm, I'm a Democrat, but I come from a family of Republicans. And I really appreciate that Pete is working to do progressive things, but without leaving people behind. And I think that he really, like, like I went home to Michigan this last summer and was really kind of tight-lipped about, like, I'm a total supporter of Pete because I don't like to talk about that with my in-laws because I'm a little bit worried because I know they're Republican. They were bringing up Pete to me and saying he could be an alternative for me even though I'm pretty conservative because they don't like what's happening right now. And so I love that that's, that, that connection is there. It's a lot about belonging. Oh, belonging, another rule of the road. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my favorite thing. I don't know. Do you have something? What's you, what drives yeah, you? Yeah, I think that unification is a real big thing for me too. And just I found that there was a lot of transparency and honesty in him that I could feel and relate. In addition to, I'm sorry, with knowledge and being a, an intelligent person. So yeah. kind of gut and yeah, mind together, right. which is like usually the best combination for decision making and coolness, you know. And so my son was into it and his girlfriend is from South Bend. So not from South Bend, but from Goshen. Mm -hmm. And then um, I started thinking and I haven't been involved in a lot of stuff in the latter years, even though 
being young, I was always moved for things to help and do things. And so I thought of the next generations, my kids, your kids, everybody's kids, and the young people. And I thought, you know what? This is a time to do something. It's not a time to sit back and just say, oh, just me, my vote. But it's to try to engage and pass that word around to others. And I do like how um, Pete has spoken a lot about automation, too. I do think that Yang has a more, like, developed solution proposal for automation. Pete talks about it, right? Like, this is a problem. But I haven't seen him say, here's the solution to it. I, so I have to, um, I, I don't have an answer for that or, or specific. Um, and I think maybe he just hasn't focused on that as much as Yang has. And uh, so I, uh, I need to educate myself better about what Yang says about like all of the different things because I think Pete has a really broad based set of issues and what I would do, issue and what I would do. And yes, he does have information in there about um, technology and um, how to bring manufacturing and or farming and or all of those different industries, bring people together to move forward, especially on climate change. Um, not Definitely not as de developed in uh, um, the solution that Andrew has, Andrew Yang has. Um, I don't know, I'm just gonna say, put it out here. I feel like when I've heard Andrew Yang speak most often, it seems like a like a one solution fits all, or like the leading solution is the biggest thing that he has. Yeah, the freedom dividend. Um, and so I'm not really clear how he would actually handle foreign affairs or the military or stuff like that so i think the freedom dividend um they say he's a one issue candidate but freedom dividend is a multi 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 issue policy I do get so that with with money in pockets people can spend locally support their community i i i get that yeah you're right that it doesn't touch foreign policy it doesn't touch some of the other things like so climate change uh Indirectly, but I think very significantly, he says, like, people under economic distress, you're trying to make your next meal, you're not going to think about the pain. You're not going to think about driving an electric car, you're not going to, yeah. Right. Yeah, so that's one thing. So it goes into people's individual priority system depending on where your money needs to go. You know, we all have different criteria based on our own realities about what's important. I like that about Andrew Yang and also this is the kind of the Pete thing too is that we have to trust people to know what's right for them. Right. You know. I do feel that Pete has that. Yes. Do you guys feel that about Andrew? Yeah, he seems like a really cool and collected guy. I don't, yeah. I have yeah. a really like, good feeling about the guy. Yeah. As a whole package, yeah. too. Yeah. That's that's why we're that's why we're out here on a sun, Sunday, sunny, beautiful San Diego day, doing stuff like this because we like we know. <laughs> this is so fun. Yeah. 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 I never tire. Spirit live like a wire. I came to let you know fantasies burn like desires. Before I go on this mic, I show pity. Coast to coast, I whirlwind through cities. When um, John F. Kennedy died, I was in Iran, 8,000 miles away from here. Once people heard that the man had been shot and killed, tears were coming down. Why, you ask yourself, those people didn't have anything to do with Americans.